Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video we show how to couple a flow simulation pressure field into a static simulation to observe stress. If you have the flow simulation product you probably already have the SolidWorks Premium product which comes with stress analysis. These are some images showing the flow distribution around a highway billboard structure. The air velocity was set to 40 meters per second. This one shows a contour plot of the velocity on a section. And this shows some flow trajectories as they traverse the structure. You can see the pressure distribution on the structure too. Assuming the structure does not deflect too much to affect the flow, you can use this pressure distribution to find the stress on the assembly. The steps are, one, from within the flow simulation menu, export the results. Two, from within the properties dialog of a static simulation, import the results. And three, run the analysis. We'll go ahead and do that now. From within the flow simulation menu, choose Tools, Export Results to Simulation. In the simulation menu, we'll define a new study. And we'll go ahead and locate a fixture at the base of the structure. Next, go to the properties of the study and choose the tab Flow Thermal Effects. Near the bottom, select the Fluid Pressure option and browse for the results file from Flow Simulation. If you ran a transient simulation, you can pick from a list of results files that would have been saved at specific time intervals. Click OK. You should notice in the External Loads folder a new item labeled Fluid Pressure. Now we'll go ahead to Mesh, run the analysis, and examine the stress results. And here's the results of the stress distribution from the flow simulation pressure field. In this video, we showed how to couple a flow simulation pressure field into a static simulation to observe stress.